Hi, welcome to Kid Plus TV. So we're here at an RTS event being held at Pip Studios. I'm outside at the moment, but we're going to go in and get a little tour. So let's go and introduce ourselves to Mark. Come with me. Hi, Mark. So here we are at Pip Studios. And uh, well, why are we here? Uh, hi, Matt. We're here for the uh, Royal Television Society's evening to discuss the explosion of um, film production and sound facilities in the uh, Thames Valley area. Fascinating. There has been a massive explosion of, 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 of new facilities coming up. And uh, you've been here for a couple of years now. Um, and I think we're just going to have a look around. We are indeed. We take on a tour. Yeah, and we've been here since 2020 now. So 2020. Was, year, that, yeah. was that middle of lockdown? As lockdown started, yeah. Just as lockdown started, yeah. you launched. We did. That was interesting. It was very interesting. Fantastic. Well, let's go and have a look at the facility. Absolutely. Let's go. Where should we go first? So we're going to go through uh, into... I need to get my pass, sorry. <laughs> There so th go. this is uh, this is through to our uh, downstairs area where we, we've just recently expanded oh, wow. the business and created um, ten uh, offline uh, multifunction rooms. So these are used for either picture editing, sound editing, or can be used in the future for um, mix rooms, small mix room, mix rooms, so home entertainment mixing. Um, and so at all these, um, uh, so they can use whatever they want, whatever software, whatever technology they want to Absolutely. bring into each room. You can bring in from a central. Yep, so the, uh, the uh, central machine room, uh, it's all fibred back to that machine room so they can bring in their own kit, whether that's AVIDs or editing equipment for picture, uh, VFX or sound. Okay. And we can adapt each room accordingly for whatever work is going on in the rooms. Fantastic. And, and how, many of the, how, many, how many suites have you got there? So there's here? 10 suites down here. 10 suites And down then it here. leads through into the uh, theatrical area where we've got six Dolby Atmos rooms. Are there any suites available where we can have a little peek? Uh, we can probably look at one of the rooms at the end, yeah. Come yeah, on let's through. have a look. So I, I think see. the clients have probably yeah. left for the evening. Let's hope so. We're going to one of the larger rooms. They're not I don't think they're quite furnished yet, but at least it gives you an idea of gives what's us an in idea, here. doesn't it? Yeah, so this is the scale. Okay. Yeah, this is and one of the smaller rooms, but they're all uh, acoustically in. floated floors. Yeah. So the, the, anyone working here is isolated from anything that's going on outside. Like I say, there's fiber optics running back to the server room. Um, so yeah, it's quite okay. a versatile little room that can be used for yeah. editing, sound, or picture. Fantastic. Can we have a look at the MCR? the main suites? The main or yep. main suites. You tell us where to go next. We'll follow. If you follow me. So this was the, uh, the first phase of the build that we created in 2020. Um, right. And the idea was that we wanted to build theatrical and home ent rooms. So like I say, six stages. They're all exactly the same size, same spec in terms of kit. Um, they're 10 meters by seven meters by four, all running on Avid S6s and Pro Tools. Um, and like I say, aligned theatrically, home ent and IMAX. And how, I mean, you, you, I, you, you're, you're you're stacked with bookings for these? Are they? Is it pretty full? I mean, yeah. So the clients have been pretty consistent. We work with all the major Hollywood studios, Sony, yep. Paramount, Universal, as well as um, the streamers as well. So there's a bit of work coming through in terms of home ent. We do a lot of uh, audio QC, a lot of audio conform, um, and ADR. So the benefit of being between two film studios that have been built in the Thames Valley is that we get work coming from production, where the artists come in and record their lines of dialogue. That may not be of use for uh, for product, you know, from production sound for mixing. It's a valid point, actually, for the international um, uh, uh, clients. You can't. You know, it's not far to Heathrow, is it? No. So that was one of the main reasons we sort of looked at Winersh. We looked all over the uh, the local area. Um, it was quite hard to find one a business park that's got um, yeah. a facility of this size with no um, structural beams for building rooms of this height. It's near Heathrow. Yeah. Um, there's a hotel on site for our clients that are travelling in internationally, so they can stay the night two minutes walk from the studio. Fantastic. And the facilities nearby, you know, are all very good as well in terms of restaurants and the links into London. Yeah. Now the Elizabeth Line's open. Yeah. So it's okay, a 36 minutes, oh, 36 minutes into. So how long? Where's your nearest actual station? Uh, Reading. Oh, okay. So you can go, we can go from Winnersh into Reading, yeah. and then Reading into Tottenham Court Road. Fantastic. In about 36 minutes. So for clients coming from central London. It's idea. nice and easy. Yeah. Yep. Let's move on, shall we? Where's yeah. next? How many of these studios are there? So six of these. Six of these. I think the only th other thing of interest, which yeah. I'm not sure we can actually visit, would be the comms room. I guess we can go and then have a quick look. Um, we'll have a little peek. Have See a little peek. We're going to have a little peek. We don't need to communicate with anyone. Some people may like to see it. Why not? Let's look. Let 
come through. Bit of background noise. We try and keep it as tight as we can, but obviously as things have evolved and clients have come online, there's more and more racks in here. But the main, the main racks on the left-hand side are these six stages that we're using. So there's a rack for every single stage. It's all Avid Pro Tools. Everything comes off of a DDP server, which is uh, fed back to our data center. So there's a big security thing there. Yeah. Um, and each engineer has their own login details and can only access the project they're working on. So we may have multiple clients in the building working uh, on projects, but they're, they're only linked into the project they're actually working on. So right. you know, security is a big security thing for us. A big, uh, it's a big, big thing for the customer, isn't it? Yeah, and hence us going through the TPN audit, as we do every yeah. year. Yeah. Um, all the clients expect that. And we're, you know, we're signed off for most of the major studios and streamers in terms of security. And did you engineer all this, you know, design and engineer and build it all yourself? Or did you partner? Are you, are you, are you able to tell us whether you partnered with a... We know? partnered with a, with, a, with a company that helped us on the install right. of ES Broadcast. Oh, fantastic. Okay. So they helped us with the infrastructure yep. and, and the install of all the kit. Um, but the beauty of this building was it was a blank canvas. Yeah. And having the room, we knew exactly what we needed to do in terms of uh, cameras, security, access control. Yeah, brilliant. Everything for the TPN audit. And cool. also having the room here as well made things a lot easier. Yeah, there is space. And do you know what? It's probably, it's not cheaper, but it is a little bit cheaper than Soho space. Exactly. There a you lot go. Cheaper. <laughs> let's, uh, let's move on. There you go. It's, it's stage six, exactly so the same. People could actually. Disorientating. Disorientating. <laughs> people could actually, we're in another suite, it's the same. They could be working in that suite. You, they could come in here and pick up the same exactly. job. They can pick exactly up the same, same session, place. dial into their, um, yeah. their session via the DDP server, and away they go. And so if people want to uh, find out more? Um, On our website, www.pipstudios.com, and there's a virtual tour they can look and at. And they can probably come down and see And they can come to. and see us. Anyone's more than welcome to come and visit any time to have a look. So let's get back to the RTS event that we're here to, uh, um, to experience. We'll go upstairs and find out more about this recent explosion in facilities in the uh, Thames Valley. Great, thank you.